What's up, Fit Fam? Welcome back to the channel. Last week, I went to the surgeon for my regular checkup. I was hoping that he was gonna release me to all activities, but unfortunately, he did not. He had uh, other plans for me. So I wanted to give you guys an update as to what has been going on, how my knee is feeling, and kind of training overall. I was originally supposed to go back to the surgeon at 12 weeks, but I actually extended it a little bit and went back at 13 because I had to get a tattoo, which is obviously the most important thing. So when I saw the surgeon last week, he did give me the all clear to stop going to the physical therapist and I can do all my exercises right here at home. The patella pain that I was having for weeks on end has completely disappeared, which I'm very, very happy with because that was kind of stopping me from doing a lot of the exercises that I needed to do for physical therapy because the pain was so bad. And like I mentioned, unfortunately, I did not get released for full activity. I was really, really hoping that he would. Um, but I guess when my surgeon says that this is a six month healing process, he really meant six months. So I am pretty bummed that I didn't get released to full activity because I have a lot of plans and a lot of stuff I need to get back to in order to make those plans happen. So for the time being, we're just gonna keep trucking along doing what I'm doing, doing things in moderation and not overdoing it to cause myself any long-term issues or pain. So every time I go visit the surgeon for my regular checkup, they send me straight to get an x-ray first and foremost. Once the x-ray is done, they send me into my appointment to talk with a surgeon just to see how things are going and healing. So the purpose of this x-ray is to just verify that the bone graft is still in place and it hasn't shifted, it hasn't moved, uh, nothing's broke apart, and everything seems to be in place. So every time since my surgery that I've gone to see the surgeon, I've never once seen these x-rays. I've never asked to see them because for me, I go more on feeling versus visual. Obviously it's different for the surgeon because he needs to see that things are healing. For me, I just trust that my body knows what it's doing and how things feel when there's an injury. I've been hurt enough that I am very aware and very in tune with my body. So I do know when something is not right or it's just like a normal muscle pain. So I did get to see the x-ray for the very first time last week. And a little fun fact for you guys, I still have hardware in my knee. I'll attach a photo up here in the corner so that way I can show you actually what piece of hardware is still in my knee. I won't lie, I was a little shocked at first when I saw this piece of hardware. I didn't think that there was a purpose for it. I have no idea why they left it in there and so it was just causing a little bit of confusion. I have recently talked to the doctor to try and get an idea as to what the purpose is for me keeping the hardware in my knee. So the piece of hardware is not causing me any issues and should not cause me any long-term pain or discomfort. The surgeon did explain to me that in order to remove this piece of hardware, they would actually need to cut into my thigh, go in through my IT band and take it out that way. Now the long-term issues of cutting through my IT band to go to my knee to get this piece of hardware out just wasn't worth it. And frankly, I don't wanna go through another surgery. I don't wanna have possible complications. So let me show you where in my knee this piece of hardware actually is. So I apologize, there might be a little bit of a glare or a shadow, but facing the front of my knee, I have one scar that goes up the front of my knee here, and then I have the rest of my scars on the side over here. When they did my bone graft, they actually cut through the front of my leg right here, which is my original scar from both of my ACLs. And then from the side over here, I do have a very large scar right here, which is only from my ACLs. So if you're looking at my knee from the front view of the x-ray, this scar right here on the side, this is where the hardware is still currently in my leg. Down here below, I do not have any hardware at all because this was the original entrance for the ACL graft as well as the bone graft. Even though the doctor did not release me to full activity, they did give me the go ahead to start BFR training. If you are unfamiliar with that, uh, it is also called occlusion training. And I'll be completely honest, when I had both my ACLs done, the surgeon and the physical therapist told me that I was not allowed to do this. So I've just been going through the motions year after year trying to grow my quad and it just wasn't progressing the same way as my other one. So I've always kind of had a difference in size. Thankfully, it hasn't been super noticeable because I do have this very large tattoo on my leg but it is noticeable to me since I know what I'm looking for. 
But I did purchase these BFR bands. I got two of them online. I will link them in the description box below. So if you would like them, you can go ahead and check them out. I don't have a discount code or anything. This is just something that I have been wanting to do for years and years. And thankfully, this surgeon actually has some uh, knowledge and background in occlusion training. That way I am able to use it. But for today, we are going to use my BFR bands as well as hit some decent sized lifts. So come along with me, let's lift, let's do this thing, and let's just keep progressing forward. 